G'day rat bags and welcome to another episode of Dirt Riders TV. Bag it up. In this episode, we're at Wongai National Park in Queensland, Australia, just north of Maryborough. And we're here at the lake, which we're gonna have a little camp out overnight, and tomorrow we're gonna hit the trails. So, sit back and enjoy the ride. So the first thing you got to do on a camping adventure like this, before you even set up the tent, is you got to take the pressure off an old coldie and make sure you're fully hydrated before you start. <laughs> you better believe it. Okay, so there we have it. The tent's all set. The sun's going down. There's only one more thing we need. And no, it's not another beer. Let me show you. Uh, that's what I like about four-wheel drive support. You can bring all the gear. Now, we'll sit back and just enjoy the sunset. Cheers. So we had a good night's sleep, perfect weather. And I mean, just look at that view. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So before we hit the trails, let me just give you a quick tour of the Lenton Hall Lake, which is in Wongai National Park. Built in 1984, Lenton Hall's dam was named after the pioneering family in the district. The waters created by the dam are called the Lake Lenton Hall. The lake is approximately 8 kilometres long with a catchment area of more than 616 kilometres squared it is fed by six main creeks. If you want to camp here make sure you ring ahead and book because it can only hold about 19 people. The camping area also has toilets and showers, barbecue areas as well. The lake has a surface area of around 765 hectares, an average depth of 5 metres and holds some 29,500 megalitres when it's at full level. It also has a dual lane concrete ramp for boats for quick and easy access. Its main purpose is to supply the Fraser Coast and surrounding townships with their drinking water but it's also a recreational fisherman's dream as it's stocked with barramundi, Australian bass, golden perch, yellow belly and silver perch as well making it the perfect place to bring your fishing rod, friends and family for a great weekend well as I came in here the other day it only seemed like a standard bit of road into a park area there wasn't many of these side trails that I noticed but here we go found one straight off the bat so let's get into it I don't fancy getting wet just yet it's a little bit cool still perfect weather though I know I keep saying that but it really is nice So if I can keep the boots a bit dry for a little while, that'll be handy.
So we've got ourselves a fence line, which obviously will be private property. We'll keep going left. and that looks like the end of that. Just see the fence through there. So, like leaving a little marker on which way to go. So the little trick I was told by a friend of mine, leave yourself a little marker. If you've got no paint, or you're not sure where you're going, do a little burnout, you know to turn there. Doesn't really hurt the environment, but you'll know which turn you've got to turn at. A couple of big girls falling down there. It's like brother and sister. Two trees falling the opposite way. How interesting. Fences everywhere here. This is a bit intriguing. All right. It's quite dry, but it could be a nice little challenge if she was wet. Hey, and how's this? Beautiful. How's the serenity, eh? With this bit of moisture that we've had, it's keeping that dust down. Uh, even though I'm riding on my own, it's quite clear in the air, if you know what I mean. Fresh. When you compare a place like this to, we'll say, Bruya, I think you'd get a longer day's ride here just through stamina. These rows are quite flat, quite enjoyable to ride. Not too much energy required, if you know what I mean.
And you know the old saying, if you can't go under it, you can't go round it, then you'll have to. Bag it up here. So, if you're ever out and about, and you have to ask yourself that question, am I having fun yet? Well, there's one good way to tell. Check this out. Not bad, eh? Nothing like getting filthy dirty. And the bike. Throw a bit of slop on it. That's the only way you know you've had a good day, I reckon. Oh. Oh, sorry, fellas. And this is the main drag. Ah, oh, yes. Quite as often used this track it looks like. Oh, probably more so than not. Look at that. I don't know, she's been down for a while, they've got a side track. I'll keep going straight. Doesn't look as used as the other road. You know, was, uh, Bruce was saying to me the other day that this thing, the DR650, is like a tractor. You just turn it on and it just plows in. And I guess it's much the same when you're just cruising along. It's just like a slow. Pop, 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 pop. Don't have to be going. Wah, wah, wah. Much as it is a bit of fun, but picks up way too much speed too quick with the gear, and I think. Oh, that big goanna. Give him a little fright. much I was camping just over here this is the lake and I was camping over there last night we've come out gone out and around come back across the main and then back into here so there's been I know there's a track there so let's assume that the bikes have been going round like it. It's such a nice feeling to come out here and hit these trails where you look and you see well no one's actually been here in some time. It hasn't been used all yours.
gives you that pioneering spirit. Of course, pioneering on a road that someone's made isn't the same. All right, so we've got a fight. We've got a fence there. You can only assume that's going to stop us continuing that way, and we're going to end up back and around in some way, shape, or form. When I get home, I'll tell you one thing that's going, and that's this. You see, every time I get a bump, I bloody hide down behind the damn thing, and you can't see the track in the video, so it's got to go. Tell me, what would you prefer? Guard on, windshield on, or windshield off? On two preferences. If you're riding, do you prefer a windshield or not? And then the other option, if you're watching the videos, windshield or not? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, hey, see what I mean? It just gets in the bloody way. Alright, we're dragging half the bush with us. I'm assuming we're just going to come back out towards the edge of that dam. Looking out in a similar view to what we did before as we look up over this hill. Fun. This one might even take us down all the way. Look out, we might have found the number one fishing spot in town. That's if you got a motorbike. It's going to be a nice little ride out of here, that's for sure. Oh, straight down to the water's edge. Look at that. Oh, keep it away. I'm glad I did now. Look at that. Right. And I want to pick a side here. Let's go this one. Again, pick a side. Boy. So there you go Ratbags, I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a great time here at Lent Hall Lakes exploring the surrounding areas and getting filthy dirty. Definitely worth a visit. You should come check it out. But before you do, check out our next video and keep watching them until your butt goes numb. Then get outside and play.